Hello and welcome to the Bible Knowledge Quiz Channel. Today we've put together 15 challenging questions to gauge your knowledge on the life and teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you up for the challenge to showcase how well-versed you are in His story? But hold on a second. Before we jump into the quiz, if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Your likes and subscriptions play a crucial role in helping us share the teachings of Jesus with a wider audience. And after you've completed the quiz, be sure to drop a comment below to let us know how many questions you got right. Question 1. How many times did Jesus say we should forgive others? A. 7 times B. 70 times 7 C. As many times as necessary D. Only once Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Matthew chapter 18 verse 22. Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Question 2. What did Jesus prophesy would happen to the temple in Jerusalem? A. It would be destroyed and rebuilt in three days. B. It would become a house of prayer for all nations. C. It would stand forever. D. It would be replaced by a new temple. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Mark chapter 13 verse 2 And Jesus answering said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Question 3 Who brought a towel and a basin to wash his disciples' feet? A. Peter B. John C. Jesus D. Paul Time to think. The right answer is letter C. John, chapter 13, verses 4 to 5. He riseth from supper and laid aside his garments, and took a towel and girded himself. After that he poureth water into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Question 4. To whom did Jesus say, Behold thy mother? A. John B. Peter C. James D. Thomas Time to think. The right answer is letter A. John, chapter 19, verses 26 to 27. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple standing by, whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took her unto his own home. Question 5. What did Jesus say to the fig tree that bore no fruit? A. Thou shalt not bear fruit again. B. Be withered. C. Grow no more. D. No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. Time to think.
The right answer is letter D. Mark, chapter 11, verse 14. And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. Question 6. What did Jesus predict Peter would do before the rooster crowed? A. Betray him. B. Deny him. C. Fall asleep. D. Run away. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Mark chapter 14 verse 30. And Jesus saith unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this day, even in this night, before the cock crow twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. Question 7. What did Jesus do when he visited the temple at the age of 12? A. Performed miracles. B. Argued with the priests. C. Taught the scholars. D. Overturned the tables. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Luke chapter 2 verses 46 to 47. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. Question 8. What was the name of the rich man in the parable of the rich man and Lazarus? A. Dives B. Eliezer C. Nathaniel D. The parable does not name him. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Luke chapter 16, verses 19 to 31. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. The parable does not name the rich man. Question 9. To whom did Jesus say, Before Abraham was, I am? A. To the Pharisees. B. To his disciples. C. To the Samaritan woman. D. To Nicodemus. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. John, chapter 8, verses 57 to 58. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Question 10. What did Jesus do at the Last Supper that surprised his disciples? A. He washed their feet. B. He sang a hymn with the disciples. C. He announced his resurrection. D. He broke bread. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. John chapter 13, verses 4 to 5. He riseth from supper, and laid aside his garments, and took a towel, and girded himself, 
After that he poureth water into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Question 11. What did Jesus say about those who mourn? A. They shall be comforted. B. They shall be blessed. C. They shall find peace. D. They shall see God. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Matthew chapter 5 verse 4 Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Question 12. Who did Jesus heal on the Sabbath, causing controversy? A. A blind man. B. A man with a withered hand. C. A lame man. D. A leper. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Luke chapter 6, verses 6 to 10. And it came to pass also on another Sabbath that he entered into the synagogue and taught, and there was a man whose right hand was withered. And looking round about upon them all, he said unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he did so, and his hand was restored whole as the other. Question 13. What did Jesus say about those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake? A. They are cursed. B. They are forgotten. C. They are blessed. D. They are misguided. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Matthew, chapter 5, verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Question 14. In the parable of the sower, what happened to the seeds that fell among thorns? A. They grew and produced fruit. B. They were choked by the thorns. C. They were eaten by birds. D. They sprouted but then withered. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Matthew chapter 13, verse 7, And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. Question 15. In the parable of the lost sheep, how many sheep did the shepherd leave to find the one that was lost? A. 90 B. 99 C. 100 D. 50 Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Luke, chapter 15, verse 4. What man of you having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost, until he find it. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, 
hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score, any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired. 15.